In 2008, the West Bloomfield Board of Education, knowing it was about to be operating in a severe deficit, approved one line on the final page of a contract with its administrators. It reads, Voluntary Severance Incentive, $70,000. That one phrase has now cost the district over $400,000. During these tough times, many districts have worked with their teachers and found creative ways to fairly reach a compromise, while the West Bloomfield School Board has chosen instead to stonewall its teachers, claiming the district's bank account is empty. Over the past month, administrators are leaving West Bloomfield for better jobs in neighboring districts with a $70,000 bonus for leaving. West Bloomfield has paid over a quarter of a million dollars to get rid of quality young leaders coveted by neighboring districts. Why are West Bloomfield administrators leaving? The answer is simple, because they can. They are leaving behind their West Bloomfield tenure for a district whose board supports its staff and has negotiated in good faith. In addition to the four who have left for other districts, eight other administrators have retired. Or have they? Did you know that six of these eight retirees now double dip from the district as consultants? While the district has been paying people to leave, the WBEA has tried to meet with the administration 21 times since October, constantly revising its proposals in order to find a middle ground. The meetings have averaged 15 minutes in length since the board has chosen to micromanage the district's response to any bargaining proposal made to the superintendent and her team. But what is the true cost of the board's fiscal mismanagement? Your children won't have the best new teachers when candidates see the new pay scale. Veteran teachers will leave or need to find second jobs, taking time away from your children. Their classes will be 20% more crowded. Your property value will more than likely drop even more. And the greatest loss may be the morale of your teaching staff. Can West Bloomfield schools afford these losses? Please urge your board to stop micromanaging and finally let their professional negotiators come to the table in good faith.